Hey Rico, congratulations, man. Um, we know that you were on the the top thirty visit list. Is that kind of when all this started coming together for you? And uh, what was it that made you uh, choose the New Orleans Saints here? Um, yes, sir. I would say so. Um, my visit with the Saints went really well, and I like the team. I like the coaches, and just the team in general is a winning organization. I told my, I remember telling everybody after my visit that I feel like it was a really good fit. And I just enjoyed it. How best would you just kind of describe your play style and, and maybe highlight some of the strengths you bring to the field? Um, yes, sir. I would describe myself as kind of a long, rangy corner. Um, press man is what I played a lot of in college. And I just pride myself on um, being a technician and just as far as with the team, I feel like I can help on defense, on special teams, or really just wherever the team needs me. Hey, Rico, what does it mean for you to be able to represent the Pitt State football program at the next level? Um, it means a lot. Pittsburgh State um, is a great school. I had a great team. Um, I love all my coaches, my teammates, um, teachers who have helped me out and just – the school in general was a great place for me. I learned a lot and just um, proud to represent the Gorillas. How much uh, pre-draft interest did you have? Did you visit with like a, a lot of teams or what kind of was that process like? So I visited with the Saints, of course, on top and also the um, New England Patriots. I had a lot of interest. Um, you know, just after pro day, putting up good numbers. And my agent and I talked to um, quite a few teams, but um, more so than anything, I'm happy to end up with New Orleans because that's where I wanted to be. And I'm just thankful for the opportunity. Rico, Rico you, you talked about the. You talk about the winning culture being a part of why the Saints were kind of a good fit for you and press man coverage and everything as well, your experience with that at Pittsburgh State. Just kind of what about, beyond the, the press man coverage side of it all, what what about the Saints' defense is attractive to you as a scheme that you feel like you can fit in? Um, well, obviously, the Saints, I like the fact that they send a lot of pressure, play a lot of man coverage. Um but on top of that, the Saints have a lot of good players who I've looked up to, like Tyron Matthew, Marshawn Lattimore, um, Alante Taylor. That's just to name a few players who I like, and I just can't wait to be around those guys, feed off their energy, and just um, become a sponge, learn as much as possible, and just showcase my ability as well. When it comes to when it comes to where you feel like you fit best <laughs> with this team, do you see yourself sort of more so as an outside corner moving into the slot? Any of those things, or or are you kind of comfortable with the versatility of that? Um, I would say I'm comfortable with the versatility of that. I feel like I can play inside or outside, and I just want to be wherever the team needs me to be. Were you asked to do more of one or the other over at Pittsburgh State? At Pittsburgh State, I play mostly outside, but I play inside as well. Um, my coaches and I studied a lot of films together, and they did a good job of teaching me in both positions. What were some of the things you had to – Yeah, what were kind of some of the harder adjustments that you had to make when you were kind of learning that, right, moving from outside to inside? It's kind of a different game. Yeah, it's kind of a different game. Obviously, when you play in the slot, you're a lot more involved in the run game, and sometimes you have to – fit in the box or know how to come off blitzes, the right blitz path, whether you're a contained player, whether you're a hammer player, you know. So um, it wasn't too big of an adjustment for me. I got to ask you about the gear you're wearing right now. Saints sent you a care package or, or you got online and went shopping immediately? It looks good. Yes, sir. Uh, this was this was gifted from a coach of mine. So just wanted to rock the Saints gear. What, after you signed, he he uh, he came up with that quick. Uh, yep, yep.
Rico, did you play any other positions or, or any other sports and everything, maybe high school or anything like that as well? Yes, sir. So in high school, I ran track and played basketball as well. Um, even in middle school and freshman year of high school, I wrestled as well. So just growing up, I played a lot of sports, even playing with just soccer outside with friends or every other sport in the book. Just like to be outside and um, being involved around sports all my life. Rico, what about special teams, return game or kick coverage? Is that uh, something you've had experience out at Pittsburgh State? Yes, sir. So I have experience playing special teams as well, whether that's gunner, whether that's the corner on punt return, um, even playing kickoff as a freshman at Pitt State. I have a lot of experience, and we had a good special teams coach here as well. So I tried to pay attention as much as possible, knowing that, at this level, special teams is a way to um, earn a way on that 53-man roster and just make the team make the team better all together. Rico, have you talked to Dallas Flowers lately? And if so, did he give you any advice? Yes, sir. So I talked to um, Dallas after I was drafted, and he just told me that um, he was proud of me. And we just said, let's do it. That's what we always tell each other was, Let's do it. I told him one day I'll meet him here, and now we're here together. So i um, excited to get this opportunity, blessed, and just look forward to everything. What was last Saturday like? Um, last Saturday was good. I was really just with my family. Um, during the time when I got the call, I was with my mom and my nephew, and we celebrated together, and Afterwards, I hung out with my friends and just enjoyed the moment, took a chance to thank God, and just soaked, soaked it all in. What do your family what think about uh, you coming down to the Big Easy? Um, they're really excited for me. I told them after my visit that I liked it a lot. I actually told them um, before the draft and everything that I wanted to go somewhere warm, so I guess I got my wish. Maybe two more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Maybe sometimes. But I'd rather be warm than cold. That's just the type of person I am. Do you um, like seafood or do you like the, uh, the culture here in New Orleans? Yeah, so I like seafood. I actually haven't got the chance to just eat a ton of it, but I look forward to getting down there and trying a lot of new restaurants. I heard the food there's really good. That's one of the first things I keep hearing when people congratulate me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do all right with the food down here. Um, yeah. That that phone call, was that a phone call with your agent or was that a phone call like with somebody from the Saints organization? Um, that was a phone call with my agent. I let him um, take care of those things and just wanted to spend time with my family and just be in the moment. That's great. Have you had uh, any contact with the coaching staff already? Uh, yes, sir. Have you gotten a chance to speak with uh, Marcus Robertson yet, the DB's coach? Uh, yes, sir, I have. What was your initial impression? Him. Him? Um, he's, a, he's a great coach, um, very knowledgeable, very respectable, and a great leader, so I look forward to working with him. When will you go to New Orleans? So, you know, we started rookie minicamp on May 10th, so I'll be down there shortly before then. What do you think some of the challenges are being a D2 guy in the NFL right now? What, 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 as you prepare for camp, what do you think is going to be your biggest challenge? Well, I feel just for any college football player, there's going to be an adjustment to the next level. Obviously, now you're playing against the best players in the world. The speed of the game will be a lot faster, but Ultimately, for me, I don't plan to change up anything that I'm doing, change up my game at all. Just trust who I am as a player and, like I said, be a sponge, take in as much knowledge as possible and just be the best player I can be for my team and for my coaches, relentless effort, and, you know, just be somebody that they can count on. And growing up in St. Louis, were you a Rams fan? Who, who's your, who was your team as a kid? Yes, sir. So – I mean, initially growing up, I guess I was a Rams fan, and then um, I was actually a Chargers fan as well. I know when I was younger, when the Rams had Kurt Warner, the New Orleans Saints used to actually be a big rivalry game, so it's 
kind of funny to watch everything come full circle like this. Rico, who's someone you model your game after? I would say I don't particularly just model my game after one player. I, I like a lot of NFL corners, and I like certain things that they, that they do. So I just try to take pieces of um, the best and just take pieces of their game and try to add it to my bag. But like I mentioned earlier, um, um, even players on the New Orleans Saints, they have a lot of great DB, and I look forward to learning from them as well. Do we have any other questions for Rico? Okay, I think we're all set. Thank you so much for the Thanks time, Rico. I really Welcome. appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you so much. Congratulations, man. We'll see you soon. Yeah, congrats, Thank bro. You guys.